So this video is a little haul video. Well, it's not little actually, it's quite large. But I've got a bunch of stuff that I've kind of accumulated over the last month. Some were things that I bought myself during the sale, some were gifts. Um, I didn't do a big Christmas haul because I, I was away during Christmas and then I kind of had another mini Christmas when I got back with my boyfriend. We exchanged gifts then and that kind of thing. So it's kind of all jumbled up and I've got a bunch of things that I want to show you. So I'm gonna start with beauty related items because let's face it, they're the most exciting. And I bought a bunch of these in the duty free on my flight back because I'm a huge duty free shopper but I picked up one of these L'Oreal lipsticks now these are kind of supposed to be a dupe for the um, YSL they called the rouge oh, I can't remember what they're called the kind of lip lacquery type of things like the room and apocalypse and all those the names completely gone but I bought this kind of beautiful corally pink colour because the colours that they had that were more kind of autumnal were just not very nice colours and I know this is quite a summery colour and I probably won't get much wear of it out of the moment but I really wanted to just try it and it's in the shade um, Princess which is number 200. I really really want to try this, I haven't tried it yet. Then I also bought myself a little MAC lipstick because I always buy MAC things in duty free because I just feel like it's cheaper. I'm actually wearing it now. I'm not wearing it kind of full on. I've kind of dabbed it a little bit because it is um, a darker colour than I would normally pick but it's the shade um, Craving and it's an amplified formula. And this is what it looks like. It's just a kind of purpley pink shade, very nice for winter and I wanted to get into kind of wearing a slightly darker lip but I don't like to kind of wear a brownie toned lip because I feel like that just washes me out. So I've been wearing this a little bit and I just kind of dab it on lightly and wear it like that. It's more of a stain rather than a full on colour. Great tip if you don't like wearing kind of bright bold colours. Then I've also got a bunch of nail polishes here and I bought a couple of the Maybelline Colorama polishes. So I bought this beautiful kind of vibrant purpley blue shade. This is number, what number is this? They don't have names these. This is number 184 and this is gorgeous. And then I also bought number 135 which is a beautiful kind of purpley color. Both of these are really, really nice and they were really inexpensive as well. And then I also bought a bunch of Essie nail polishes. Now the one I'm wearing on my nails right now is also a purchase. I haven't got the bottle of this to hand because it's still in my room but this is called Decadent Dish and it's a really pretty kind of shimmery chocolate brown shade with a kind of hint of red in it. Really, really lovely. And then I also bought this one here which is Big Spender. I wore this all of last week and I loved it. Gorgeous kind of warm purpley colour. And then the two that I haven't worn yet are Essie's Bahama Mama. I always say that like I'm American. Bahama Mama. I don't know why I kind of call it that. But um, yeah, really pretty. Again, a kind of deep purple colour. I lo I'm loving purple at the moment on nails. And then I also bought this one right here, which wouldn't be a colour I'd normally pick, but just something about it was just really different and I just really liked it and it's called Trophy Wife and it's this kind of bluey green shade. Um, it's kind of nice during the winter I think because it's bright but it's metallic so it kind of makes it a bit more wintry but it was just something that I felt was different and I quite liked. I haven't worn it yet so I don't know kind of what it looks like on the nails but I really liked it. So those are kind of the beauty items that I bought and I'm now going to move on to shoes because I've got quite a few pairs of shoes to talk to you about in this video. Also just realised that kind of the shoes I'm going to show you are from all different shades of the spectrum kind of in terms of style but the first pair are just a pair of flip flops and these are the Havaiana flip flops and the reason I wanted these is because I really wanted some in the summer and then I didn't buy some and it had already kind of gotten a bit chilly but they're just a really great thing to wear with dresses I love flip flops with maxi dresses and like a short summer dress if you're just like going for a walk in the park or that kind of thing it just looks really cute and as much as I love kind of jewel sandals they're not flattering on me with dresses because I've got quite big legs they just don't look good they make my legs look shorter and you don't always want to wear heels with dresses so I think these kind of um, make your legs look slimmer in that they look like your bare foot kind of thing so I got the kind of champagne nude colour and I really like them they are a bit expensive for flip flops but they last so much better than any other type and they stay clean and they stay nice looking and they're just totally worth the money in my opinion then I also got these boots. Now these were from ASOS and I've been after something like this for a while. I love the colour, it's kind of that taupey, is it grey, is it brown, not quite sure type of colour. Studding, anything that's got studding on, I'm all over as we'll see in a moment. But a kind of thick, small heel and this part's kind of wider and they just look really casual but really smart on. And I'm really glad I got them, they're very, very comfortable as well and I absolutely love them. They were around 
40 pounds from asus i believe um i'll try and put the link in the down bar if they still have them but i'm not sure if they do and then my boyfriend bought me these pair and these are absolutely amazing and i had never heard of them it's a bit of fluff flying here that's annoying me um i'd never heard of this brand before and i didn't realize that a brillavin you know like complicated and all of that how bad is it that that's the only song of hers i could think of because that's really old but um design shoes and i wouldn't have known that kind of thing i'm not a huge abrilovin fan and she does design shoes anyway and she designed these beautiful beautiful shoes now like i said anything with studs on i'm all over and i love these i just think they're just so beautiful the inside's a little bit tacky but if you look the soles kind of got this like beautiful skull on it and they weren't too expensive they're kind of a lovely quality leather and they're just so 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 beautiful and comfortable and i just am so pleased that he found these and he said he just found them on Amazon I think it was and that um, he knew I would like them so he bought me these so that was really 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 good taste honey because I love them so that's it for shoes and I'm now going to move on to kind of fashion items and maybe I'll talk about the handbag that I got first I'll do the handbag first and then I'll move on to all the kind of sale shopping and fashion items that so I got. the bag in question is this beauty over here I'm not sure what you can see on camera but it's an absolutely gorgeous bag. It's kind of made to look like the Hermes Birkin bag, but it's not a copy looking bag. It just looks very, very um, expensive, if that makes sense. And it's beautiful quality leather. It's Italian leather and I just love it. I think it's so smart and chic and just amazing. And um, again, this was a boy pick. He picked this, which again, shows what elegant, excellent taste he has, because I absolutely love it and I couldn't have made a better choice myself. But it's just got this kind of beautiful hardware here that goes in there a little lock let me know if you want me to kind of do a what's in my bag video with this and i will because i love it and the only thing is now i'm kind of getting a bit stupid and obsessive but um my purse is a kind of teal color and i want a black and gold purse to go with my bag is that really pathetic and stupid but anyway um i really 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 love this and i can't wait for it to kind of wear in a little bit and then it gets that kind of slightly worn leather look and it's just gorgeous and beautiful and I love now it. Now moving on to some kind of sale items that I picked up. I've got this jumper right here that I got while I was away and this was from American Eagle and it's just this kind of lovely sort of muted pink jumper and then it has this kind of lace pattern at the bottom which I think is really cute and it just makes it a little bit different and not kind of like big slouchy baggy jumper. The one I'm wearing right now is from American Eagle as well actually but um, it's just a kind of girlier version of your average jumper and I think it's really sweet. And then I've got this snud from ASOS. It's just this kind of cream bobbly snud. I'm all about the snud. I think they keep you so warm and they just really finish off an outfit. So really like that. And then I also got two dresses from the ASOS sale as well. I'm a huge ASOS shopper. Um, the first one is this beautiful black and red one. And this is kind of a nice Valentine's Day dress, I suppose. But it's just got this kind of pretty lace detailing at the top, little puffy sleeves and then this lovely lace detailing at the bottom and then at the back it's got a slightly lower back and an exposed zip which is really pretty. Um, I got it in a size 8 because I always think with ASOS dresses always go a size smaller than you normally would because they're just very generous with their sizing in the dress department there so I always go a smaller size but I really really like this and I can't wait to wear it and you could even kind of wear it casually I suppose with just opaque tights and some little boots or something it looked pretty or you could dress it up because it's a very pretty kind of feminine dress. And then this is also probably quite a Valentine's Day appropriate dress. I didn't think of this when I bought all these things together, but they kind of are. And it's this kind of um, wrap style dress with little heart prints. So it's just black and white heart prints, wrap um, kind of style on the chest, which is very flattering. Nips you in at the waist, flares out, long sleeves, my kind of dress. Really, really flattering on and really pretty and girly. And last but not least, these aren't technically haul items because I was in fact sent these, but I wanted to mention them while they were still available because some of them might be really interesting to you. The first one is this jumper and you know, like we live in jumpers in this country basically because it's just so cold. But this was from, um, I think, I never remember the name of their site, but it's called something like Per, 
Persan Mall or something like that. I will put the info in the down bar because I cannot remember what it was called. But it looks like just your average kind of normal grey jumper, nothing special. But the elbows of this are really, really sweet. They've got this kind of cobweb detail on the elbows and I just thought that was really different and cute. So I'll be um, enjoying wearing this because it's really nice material as well, really warm. So love that. And then these two items. Now I will admit that the second one I picked and it was kind of my error, I didn't bother to read the measurements and it's too small for me and it's not something I'll use because the size just isn't gonna work for me. But it would be really nice if it was a little bit bigger and it's just this little quilted handbag. I wanted it to be bigger. It's really sweet. It's got this kind of like pocket at the back and it opens up and it's kind of got nice compartments in it. Really cute, but it's just too small and the small, aspects of it just makes it a bit dated for me so I don't think I would use this because like I said the sizing is just not my cup of tea but that was my fault for not researching it properly um, and then this coat which I can't wait to wear when it gets a bit warmer it's kind of very much a spring coat because it's very light but it's just this kind of stone coloured um, I suppose you'd kind of call it like a trench coat or a mac but it's just this lovely kind of brownie stone coloured coat which is really really lovely it's kind of got Buckles detailing all over here and nips you in at the waist, nice buttons. Thin material so it won't keep you too, too warm and I just really like it. It's a little bit big, I bought it in a medium, maybe I should have gotten a small, but I never know with my size anymore. It's just so confusing to me when I buy online because I never know what size I'm gonna be. And nine times out of 10, I need a smaller size than what I got and then I think, well, am I kind of in my head imagining that I'm bigger than I am? But then if I buy a small and it doesn't fit, that's depressing. You know the size malarkey, but anyway, yeah. The, the both of those are from martofchina.com, so I will put the link for those in the down bar. But that is it for my haul. That's everything I got recently. Um, I did order a couple of bits from H and M last night or the night before. Because last night it was because they had free delivery, and I also um, picked up a eyeshadow from Fragrance Direct that I've been wanting to try for a while. So I have been buying little bits and bobs, but I'm trying not to spend too much because um, I'm going away in March also and also I want to do something nice for Valentine's Day, I wanted to go away for Valentine's Day so I'm going to try and not spend any more from now on. Fingers crossed I managed that but I don't know. I'd love to see if you've been buying anything um, recently so if you've done any haul videos or anything let us know in the comments and if you've got any questions or anything like that about anything that I mentioned in this video down left. Ugh. Definitely let me know down below. I'm going to go now because clearly I'm not in a fit state for talking and I will see you in my next video.